Hey y'all, welcome back. This is gonna be a little bit of a phantom episode. I did just lose a run. Um, we had a little bit of audio technical difficulties there towards the end, but it seems to be uh, mostly sorted. I think I found the cause. Something was causing my uh, computer to lag as well as my audio to mess up, which is never, ever a good sign. But we got we got a fix for now, um, which is actually a great segue. I was actually in in the middle of talking about uh, getting some PC upgrades. Give me that back. Uh, get in talking in the middle of talking about getting some PC upgrades that uh, are actually basically designed to smooth all that out, which is going to be really exciting. Going to be getting a a new CPU. I definitely fell for a little bit of the trap that comes with. Uh, buying new PC parts. I am definitely, most certainly, not immune to any of that. Um, where I was like, yeah, I could get, uh, I need to get a new motherboard, but if I get a new motherboard, I might as well just like time it or like take this opportunity, right, to get a, uh, a new CPU as well, because like, you know, if I'm getting a new motherboard already, I might as well make sure that it supports the upgraded CPU that I eventually want to get and blah, 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 blah. And eventually, you know, it's like, got to get a new case and et cetera, et cetera. Very, uh, very fortunate to be in a position where I can actually not worry about stuff like that too, too much. Um, which is a, you overall a fairly unique position for me in my life which is just like feels awesome to be in to where I can just reasonably and safely and without like ruining my savings or anything like that uh, go into getting some computer upgrades that I want to get. So taking taking advantage of that in the beginning of the year here. I don't know how I feel about uh, having this set to uh, all, having all of our phasers set to kill here. It's gonna make getting this to the end very interesting. Just gotta hide here for a moment. Oh, we are gonna be doing a challenge run. Um, the bring the key to the ice caves to unlock the, whatchamacallit. Ooh. Uh, bringing the key to the ice caves in order to unlock uh, an item. Okay, we can't throw the key here. Keep that in mind. Apparently also can't throw that. Uh, the shortcut. That's the thing that we're looking to unlock here. Which we should be able to do, I'd say, if not simply, will be at least a little fairly straightforward in uh, in our delivery. I think there's a pretty good chance that we go to the uh, jungle path. Uh, unfortunately, our last run, as you may have seen in the title, um, ended on Volcania. We ended up going Volcania, got met with a jump that we couldn't take. Man, I love Quillback. Quillback's such a cool boss. Just actually. The uh, the design of stuff like Olmec is also very, very good. But, you know, I think that Quillback kind of got a special place. He's got so many different varied ways of, uh, of beating him. Hey. And he gives good rewards. He's got a cool boss design. I'm a fan of Quillback. I know that uh, Spelunky's not had the best track record as a franchise with boss fights, but I feel like they've kind of redeemed that with the um, with the changes that they made to Olmec and with Quillback himself. Okay, let's see here. Oh crap. Okay, we can walk on spikes, keep it in mind. Not those spikes. We also don't have the Ujedi. 
keep that in mind as well. Um, if w there's a way, if we find a shop, which I don't know if I can find shops on the jungle actually, now that I think about it, uh, we really want a compass. A compass will go a long way for us here. Uh, just because we can, um, if we were to get a compass, okay, key's still alive. If we were to get a compass, we could tell what level our uh, our shop and stuff was on. The secret black market. But we're probably just gonna be mostly operating off of guesswork, sadly, here. Come on. So, with a Kali altar, do you want to find Monty? Usually want to find Monty regardless. <clears throat> I mean, slightly more radio silent than usual on this one, because I'm not super comfortable, super well versed on our jungle path. On the jungle path, dude. All right, we're, we're, we're that 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 ain't the end of our that ain't the end of our business here. What do we learn there? Time your jumps, because I never thought that getting hit by one of those, like, not that I didn't think it was possible, but I've never never actually considered it in my uh, in my game plan. This is a pretty good start, though. Right off the bat. But yeah, I'm super excited about um, the computer upgrades, bringing some uh, potentially more visual clarity to the streams and to uh to certain games mostly doing uh performance upgrades oh shit only like a performance upgrade my spelunky am i right fellas haha <laughs> got him <laughs> um mostly performance upgrades uh on the non-graphical side uh getting my motherboard and my uh cpu upgraded as well as some of my memory but I think that's good. It, it sets me up as a cool, like, as nice upgrade possibilities as, like, new graphics cards are coming out. Because I know, you know, there's always something. Um, always a new graphics card that's coming out. And all the kids got to buy it up in, like, the uh, 3080 or whatever that one is. <laughs> um, you know, I was never, never, never been on the, like, cutting edge of, uh computer upgrades or anything even remotely close to that. A little scary. Yeah, come on, dude. Oh, we're on the uh, key floor. Cool. That's very good to know. Feel sorry for you, bud. If you're having uh, spider problems, I feel bad for you, son. I like, got... Uh, sorry, Monty. Better you than me, buddy. Uh, what else has been happening? We had a wonderful opportunity to, uh, as part of our Throwback Thursday series, we got to play a little bit of Spelunky co-op uh, with Texas Tibbers, which is was super, super fun. Was and is. Um, probably gonna be playing it again, hopefully. Um, and maybe even getting some uh, actually recorded for the YouTubes Because uh, that was kind of a you know, we weren't 100% sure what we were going to be playing for throwback Thursday, so we uh, Weren't doing anything big and official like the Halo series But um, I was super super pleased with how that went uh, we also had a uh, It's in beta currently, so there was a lot of like potential jank, but almost none of the actual potential jank like showed through it felt like I think, I think I'm just going here to be honest with you Yeah, we have paste that's super convenient. Yeah, I think we're just going here. We got paste. We got so much stuff You do have to figure out uh, 
I think that without the compass, Volcania is going to be our best bet. Unfortunately, how much I was actually enjoying the, uh, the jungle path on that last run. Getting to mix it up a little bit. We'll definitely dedicate some time to the jungle path as things kind of go along. Because it is something that I still want to figure out. Because I think like right now we would be in a decent position to go jungle path legitimately just because we need items. Come on, buddy. You did this to yourself. All right, all right. He did it to himself, I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, are the... Oh, there we go. Just, just send me, dude. My brain is not quite working fast enough for some of the Spelunky enemies, but in other ones I totally got on lock. So we're gonna have to, we'll see how this goes as we move forward. Didn't I just say that I didn't want to go the uh, forest path? Yes, but unfortunately our guy only gave us one option. By that, the only option he gave us was to bomb our way through. <laughs> But the, what I was talking about, the Spelunky uh, co-op session went super, super well. Um, you know, we, we had some struggles, of course, with, uh, I was playing on keyboard and mouse for the first time ever, uh, which was very interesting. Come on, buddy. Okay, this is actually a pretty good roll here. Uh, I think I heard a Monty down there as well, which means that we'll be able to get that. We do definitely try at least to unlock the Van Helsing. Uh, basically because if we don't, we're still, we're still trying to get to uh, Vlad's castle. Even though we don't have the Ujedi, and that is a pain in the butt, well, I guess we're not going to be able to get to Vlad's castle in this run. Well, it's not true. We're not going to be able to get to Vlad's castle and also have Van Helsing. We can definitely get to Vlad's castle here. We have our, uh, our mysterious, only slightly cheaty ways. There's a compass that would have made the other path all the more worth it. I'm probably not going to mess with the hired hand here. We're just going to get on down to uh, Funky Town. There we go. And uh, we're actually going to have a brief cut here. Give me one second. And we're back. Just like that. Oh, do we do the moon challenge here? I don't think we risk it, honestly. We got precious cargo, dude. Yikes. Yeah, whatever's in that shop though I want. Told ya. And we know this isn't our Vlad floor. We can just move on down to the next one. We can at least kind of tell the dead are restless. Um, what is this event again? This is just like this weird back biome, right? Oh, hey, I can get a cape. That's pretty good. Eventually, I can get a cape. Oh, well, that's all I needed, dude. That is all I needed out of that. And then we can just make our way downtown here. We do still know. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, this is interesting. So we do still have our, how do we make this happen here? Something like this. Easy as that. Oh, there's some slight like music changes that come with the Dead or Restless. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. I can now officially give it my seal of approval because there's a, a music change. Oh crap. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's actually fine. 
got the Kapala. We have our key. We have plenty of bombs to get down to uh, to our boy Vlad. We do have paste, so we can handle Vlad even without Van Helsing. Excuse me. Uh, crap. That's what I'm gonna say about this. This is a, a, a big, a big load. Just don't, don't vomit on me, dude. Vomit on your shoulder already. Oh crap. Just, okay. You just, you just stay over there. I'm just gonna dig down on this side today. How about that? <laughs> we may have to spend a couple of extra bombs because of our uh, little snafu that we're in here. But I think that we'll be okay overall. We just gotta dig on down to... We actually don't want that to blow up. Strangely enough, no, we usually that's perfect. Actually, never mind We usually streamline those uh, Bomb boxes those like TNT boxes pretty heavily when we do this In that situation we didn't want to blow up because it might have pinged the lava And I really didn't want to have to deal with that. Oh, we actually wasted a bomb here as well But we still got 15 bombs left and we are down here and that's all that really matters, because this was all that we needed the Ujad Eye for. Um, which makes life uh, a lot simpler, because we can still, even if we, like, if this ends up being some sort of god run, uh, we can potentially keep it going, even after we do our little secret thing. It doesn't, doesn't break the bank just to do a little bit of secret run. that there ton of bombs just as easy as that dude uh, Van Helsing not necessary although I would have loved to give him uh, give him some life fulfillment Unfortunately, we just didn't have didn't have the keys to the kingdom quite literally this time around <laughs> And we can just move on this should be our Olmec fight. Heck. Yeah, dude Finally made it to an Olmec fight. Uh, there was that one uh, Scuffed video that was actually two scuffed runs very very unfortunately um, We have to actually carry the key with us the whole time a little bit unfortunate, but We'll hopefully be able to uh, make this work. I was thinking about we could maybe drop the key off at Waddler, but the Waddler doesn't pay out his uh, resources until after, until in the ice caves, and we need the key on the entrance to the ice caves. So we're going to do our Olmec thing. We've had very, very mixed results with Olmec. Uh, overall, we've been starting to get the hang of it, I feel like. Which is, of course, very, very exciting. Looks like we might be looking at a right-handed uh, bias here today. Oh, my life. <laughs> the, what happened there? I dropped the pot, and I thought that the pot was a bomb, so I panicked and ran away from the bomb, which actually ran me straight into a bomb. That was madness, just actually. So yeah, that spot over there is definitely going to be our spot. We can maybe even get him to send one more volley that reaches over there. I'm actually just going to bomb him here as well. He might get stuck on this. No, it doesn't look like it, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more than willing to uh, throw a couple of bombs at Olmec's main body to make this a little bit more of a controlled burn because we have the paste. Now you could hypothetically do this with uh, without using bombs as well if you wanted to, right? Or without using paste, that is. Nice. Uh, because you could just hit him and the contact damage from the bombs 
will do the thing that you want it to do. In this case, though, you know, we're probably going to end up spending some bombs on this fight anyway. Yikes. Do not quite have the HP reserves that we would need. Okay, I think that's probably going to be the end of the Olmec fight for us. We might get one more uh, volley here. Seems like a nice spot to hide. Just don't drop a short one. All right, you're good. You're good, buddy. I'd like to again request that you not drop a short one. Fat fingered our bomb a little bit there, but you know, I'd rather with the, the fact that we have so many bombs has been pretty dang good for us. And we just send them straight into the lava, dude. So I'd say we spent four bombs counting the one that we fat fingered there. We would have spent six, I think, total if we were to just do like a straight burrow. So I think that that was very, very worth it overall. Now we have the Ankh. We have a buddy that we can sacrifice. We just have to make sure that we remember to grab the key on the way down here. Uh, do you come with a rock, my dude? You don't come with a rock. So we're probably just going to like take you down with us. I'm very sorry about this. This shouldn't have to be your fate. But unfortunately, it is. Uh, we have the, the, the cool thing about this, right, is because we have the skip that we can use for uh, to get Vlad's cape and the crown, even though we don't have the Ujat eye per se, because we have that, we can still do this like challenge run while still progressing in the quote unquote main storyline. This is going to be huge. Because this spells a. Hey, buddy. You're, you're just going to go. Monty is going to give us a couple HP. It's gonna give us a couple HP that we can potentially use on our, uh... A couple, I say. We're up to 24 HP, to be precise. Uh, but we can potentially use this HP... I forgot my key, dude. Where'd it go? Uh, after we do the, uh, Ankh save, which I would very much like to do. I am not feeling lucky. I have gotten into uh, Madame Eva's pleasure palace, so to speak. Um, <laughs> I have gotten <clears throat> into like that that secret area. You know, nothing, nothing too cray cray to write home about. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna really not here. How about that? How do y'all feel about that? That, that whole mess up there does not strike my fancy. Um, oh no, we can't bring the, uh, the sword with us. Because we have to bring... That makes me sad, dude. Well, I mean, I've heard that there's a way you can do that boss with, like, the... With sticky bombs. But I don't... I don't have a lot of faith in that. Excuse me. So we may just be mainlining our... We lost the Ankh and the key. Are you kidding me? Well, what do we do now? Well, now we gotta do the Ankh skip. It's the thing. What's in the present? What's in the box? Of course it's climbing gloves. If we had just bought the present, we would have known that this run was cursed.
Okay. So now we just gotta find find our entrance. Which is probably honestly up there, but I'm gonna look for it. Right around here with this Monty. Ow. Ow. Um cave entrance. Cave entrance? Cave entrance. There it is. Okay. So it is down here with Monty. We are going to at least attempt the Onk skip here. If we can't make the Onk skip work, then we'll just fight our way over to Tiamat if we can. Um, you know, I'm not super duper hopeful currently just because we don't have the Ankh. We also don't have the Excalibur, dude. We kind of need, we kind of need our boy Excalibur. Okay, so we do one rope there. We do one rope like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the third rope goes here. We just hide like this? Huh? Huh? Uh, slight problem. Oh, wait, hold on. We got climbing gloves. Okay, now we just gotta find our door. Hey, there's the off skip, dude. Regardless of whatever else happens in this video, we at least got the onk skip. Um, now we gotta figure out some uh like methodology here. Hold on one second for me. I'm gonna have to be right back. Okay, regardless of anything else this episode, um we can at least say that we got the onk skip. Oh, let that blow. I don't know if this is possible. Four bombs left. No. What do you think? Think we can make this happen? I'm guessing this is going to take approximately 500,000 whips. So, we're going to just put on the auto clicker and come back. <laughs> just kidding. We're going to we're going to we're going to try here. This might just be the end of our run though. If we keep getting hit like that, it'll definitely be the end of our run. Just, just kind of juke him a little bit. Ah, oh, that wasn't a zombie. It was a little, a little crab man. Well, regardless of anything else, that was a successful run in my mind because we did the uh, onk skip, which is actually super exciting. Uh, I'm gonna be live tonight. It's Monday for me currently. It's gonna be Tuesday for you right now, most likely. Uh, so I'll be live tonight doing some Spelunky and some other variety stuff. But hey, check in every day. We got Spelunky episodes going on every day. We've got Outer Worlds going out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We still got Throwback Thursday happening on Tuesday and Thursday uh, on this channel. And it's going live. Uh, we're done with the Halo series, but it's still being uploaded here. And other than that, like, comment, subscribe to YouTube Things is what YouTube's here to do. Catch you all next time. Peace out.